What's up, guys? It's your boy Brock McGundy back with some more Red Dead Redemption, and uh, today, um, well, I said I was gonna do uh, Rainfalls or John Marston. I'm probably gonna do John, so I can uh, <clears throat> get the um. It's a constipated guy, but um, yeah, um, ooh, you're an ass, you're an ass, uh, I think that's Jeff, but, um, the old brother part two appeared, and, So yeah. You see, Helen, Acre here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now that's very useful if you need the climate. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. Punch of Christmas. Ah, uh, it's the guy. Right here. <laughs> you really walloped him. Hi, <laughs> yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good Lord above. Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me again. Right here. Right here. Oh! Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. Oh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. They, ha they have their voices coming from the back. Steel. Real steel, huh? <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My turn. Are you sure? Come on, right there. Y'all some dumbasses. Enough, gentlemen. Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> My God, a bunch of dumbasses. Okay. I think there's another part to that probably. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But um I slept for a little while. So I think Castor's Ridge might be ready. Let's get you back. It's Cause... time you left us alone. I'm going, don't worry, damn. I, that's just the easy way to my horse. Damn. Huh? So we're gonna go check over at right there, Castle's boy. Ridge real quick, but if it's not active, it should be active by the next day. Cause I slept for like two days. Cause I would assume that maybe it would uh, be the third day now, maybe, hopefully. Oh, the house is done and they're gone, so. So I believe that uh, we're here at the final one. Actually, yeah. On, though, just sold it to a farmer moving up here from the south. Good for you. So can I have my money now? 
Of course, not a problem. We managed to drum some together. Here you are, as promised, and with interest. 150 bucks? Hey. At least he's a man of his word, you know. Come on, pal. All right, all right. They finished the house. It's actually not that bad of a house for these times. So we are now actually done with Castle's Ridge. So next thing I'll be doing is uh, this place, whatever it's called. Uh, I don't remember. I do not remember what it was called. Uh, Central Pacific Railroad, something like that. All right. Eh, uh, we'll just do John. Might as well. Yes, so that it's a lot easier for me to get the Native American sideline done. And since I'm going to be doing most of the uh, side quests that I can get done, I'll be uh, I'll be doing those. Um. <laughs> So all the uh I think uh so since there's John then there's 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 three uh Native American sideline missions. There's three of those. They're usually something simple. Just uh go grab this for me. Um um, follow me here, uh, uh, I believe, well, the last one, the last mission for it is actually, um, a little difficult, but it's not, it's not, like, um, uh, difficult to wear, like, I'll die a bunch of fucking times, like, I didn't die during it at all, so, I should be fine. Yeah, you alright there, boy? So, um... We'll get this John mission done, and then we'll have to go for the. Uh, don't worry. I am staying out of your way, because honestly, I don't know what the repercussions for that would be. I think it'd be negative karma, because I, I think it'd be the right person. And if, but if it ain't, then you know. Then it, it would probably be giving me negative karma for just passing by. Okay, um... The bridge to nowhere is what we're about to do. Um, I do believe the gunslinger um, side quest is easy from now on. Like, you're not going that far from the beginning. Oh, God, the beginning section. So, yeah. yeah. Oh. Alright, well, we're uh, here at John. just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. <laughs> He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? 
You can... Uh, you could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, all right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there and you lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Got it? Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Okay, good. Grab the other one. All right. We got two Krates. Come Whoa. To the edge. I got you. Right. I know. I know where I'm going, John. from the box. Bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are I'm going to go, I'm gonna go ahead and do the back. By. If they don't do the job, nothing will. So why exactly are we doing this? Dutch wants a distraction. Something to buy us some time. Pull some attention off of us. And we found out Cornwall's company got a contract with the army. So I think Dutch figures after this. Please, you know which way I want you to go. I know, brother. I know, John. Brother John. Brother, sister John. Come on now, Arthur. Come on, quick. Come on. Pump 
this stupid thing as hard as you can. Let's go, let's go. Just get to the end of the bridge and jump. You're ready to jump. It's right on us. Come on. This ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here, risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How do you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. Safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 Alright, that's the bridge to nowhere, and um, that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more missions, which that leaves us with five before we start um, going to do the rest of the side quests that are left. Um, which, now we gotta go and do Rain's Fall, which... He's right there, so... Oh. Yeah, it is a fine morning. I just blew up a bridge. Um... I'm gonna... Oh! I just trampled the last animal, okay. What's the next one? Ride from Strawberry to Sanity in under nine minutes without touching any water. Oh, Lord Jesus. 
They that kicked up difficulty right there. Out of the damn way. Yep. Well, I'm probably not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, that probably won't happen. Let's go ahead and get as many of these Native American side quests that I can do. But I... What the hell are you doing? Um... There is a uh, pamphlet for an arrow that I could find here. I think it's in one of the tents, though. Hornady. Ah, hello. Shit, where was that? How are you feeling? Huh? That makes me glad. A Java chicken. Damn, where was that thing? I think it might have been over here. Over here. Elders say we should trust him for now. <coughs> trust me for now. Herb and boy, baby, but I don't need that. Shit, where was this thing? I'm gonna try to find this. It's probably in some kind of like lockbox or something. I think it was like a poison arrow or something. Kind of awkward that I'm walking around here. Just, or maybe it's right next to the um, his tent. Sort of biscuits. Oh, classic out capes. Y'all didn't see that. I think that's it right there. No, that's cocaine gum. That's some corn. Shit, where is it? I'll have to look it up. Unless. Unless maybe it's up here. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just look it up and pick it up later. But. Let's go ahead and get this uh, rain's fall. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. 
I don't know him, but my son is easily led. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <laughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Okay. Even though there's only one mission for him. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well... I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. Oh. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, yeah! Good. There was no need to harm them. Come on! My boy. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Uh... How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. Well, for years, he was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Okay. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Yes. Put my double actions back in until I get the Schofields. English mace, bro. He trying to mace me. That's what he trying to do. Okay. I see what you're trying to do. Let's continue on. So, you were saying? It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. 
Dutchie's got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. Eagle Flies got caught up in that. Now he's in jail. Sadly, Eagle Flies was ready to fight. I'm sure Charles will find a way to help him, but I just wanted you to know the situation. Well, I appreciate you coming to me, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some more thought. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. Sure thing, my brother. Hmm. Well, that's nice right there. This that view. Combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. All right. Don't you take nothing out there, bro. I mean, you could take a hundred bucks. Go right ahead. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. Okay, so mix of right, ginseng much now. and English mace. So, what were you talking <clears> about? To keep before? strength. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them, shot them dead, and offered ten dollars. Hardened me, being on that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. It's just up ahead. I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clue as to what happened here. 
This is the place of peace. There's an army flask. Something over here. What reason would they have? There's some whiskey here. Some drinking. Okay, something back there. Mr. Morgan. Hold on. Whiskey soaked lot damn. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank uh, all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Whoa. Well, Arthur, that is a talent right there. Don't let it go to waste. Oh, I could take that though. Cool. Must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But but I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. Oh, yeah, I ain't I'll gonna try to make sure that they never even... Even know I'm there, but... Probably he's gonna say, but things happen. Stuff like that. Hold on. I will. Yep. Okay, so, uh, first things first. Bow. And just in case, lick spell. You were going to look for the Chinumpa. Yeah. I'm, I'm going. If the horse will let me go. You're moving even slower than just a trot. Come on now. Damn, let's go. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm gonna get your, I'm gonna get your uh, Chinupa. Don't worry. I don't know what that is. Uh, I have no clue, but uh, I'm gonna get it. I'll get it for you. Ain't gotta worry about a damn thing. Yeah, I can, there we go. I can get down this way. Yeah, I'm just keeping these out just in case.
I gotta wait for that guy to move. Okay, cool. He's moving down. Near Canada, then? No. France is near. Please. He's near France. Well, it's in France. Indian is from. Please, 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 go. Where are you from? Me? What's that? From Milwaukee. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh shit! Holy shit! Get on the horse. Okay, fella. Get on the horse. Go, go. Get on the horse and go. Oh shit! Oh, that was too close. Holy shit, that was way too fucking close. Hey, my brother. Good news. Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be... Sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Owl feather trinket. that thing does. Owl oh, Feather Trinket. Permanently reduces health, stamina, and dead eye core drain speed by 15%. Hey! That's nice. I believe that thing, this, automatically comes with the, um, with the uh, special edition. Uh, permanently decreases the damage the player receives while on horseback by 10%. And that, that one does. I know that one does. I think both of those do. This is the first one I got. Nice. Okay, that's archaeology for beginners. I I'm surprised I actually made it through there all stealthy. Cause that that was bad. The first time I did it, it was bad. They spotted me through a freaking bush. But, um, we have Captain Monroe, his mission to do Honor Amongst Thieves, which I think I know how to do that one properly, like easily at least. 
and then so we got one two three four five six we got six missions left four before I start going to get all these uh, side quests done which which um, that's Magnifico Jeremiah Thompson uh, that's Margaret I know how many Margaret has Jim Boy Calloway I think he has up to five this guy this is this guy has up to five which I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do his first part his first parts a little slow paced I don't remember how long the rest of them are because I never did them so yeah hey you there can you help me mister what's the problem? A goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Search nearby for Buell. I don't know where he is. He's over, he's gonna be over here near the damn water. Right there. That's Buell. There he is. Whoa there. Easy. Easy does it, eh? Better calm you down. Just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. It better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter <laughs> how big and strong you are. Okay. horse back to him come on now I can't run with him so I gotta walk with the horse Mr. Arthur, you're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. Young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. 
I can still hunt, fish. Enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Alright, well, that's the uh, beginning of the veteran. So, um... And this is a short mission, but I don't have time to do it. So... I'm gonna actually just... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head towards it. And, um... Yeah! I, I actually just realized, um, by the time I finish, by the time I'm ready to finish these videos, I'll have, uh, actually gone through every single one of my outfits that I've originally had for each chapter, except chapter five. I don't think you can get that one back. I think that's just a, a unique one just for that one. Kind of like how the, there's the unique outfit for the, for the Saint-Denis, uh, police. Like, that's a unique outfit. I'm very certain you cannot get that back. Um. So yeah. Um. In the next episode, we will uh, continue with the Native American sideline, which has two more missions. It has this one, which is a what was it called? Oh my God. Oh my Lord Jesus. Okay. It's um honor amongst amongst thieves. Yep. And there's one more. And yeah, then we got two more missions after that. So, you're a good boy. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. Um, let's see. Anything else that activated? Um, Okray's Run, where I just came from. Which he lives. This is where. The veteran lives right there in this little cabin right here. Um. Oh shit, you know what? I need to go here. I'll start Whoa. off my video at the Central Pacific um, Railroad Camp. So, that's where the next video is going to start. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and bye.